Hello friends and welcome to Friday Night Files and episode number two, number three of the bridge curse to the extrication. Without further ado, let's continue this creepy ass game. Oh shit, yeah. Oh, oh. oh we're starting right there. Uh, horror right at the beginning. Awesome. How the F do we get away from this bitch? I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Don't follow me, please. Can't we use this? Uh... Yeah, we can use the lamp to burn her for a while. So we can get around her. What the fuck is this, man? I have no clue where I have to escape to. Is she right behind me? Come on, faster, please. Come on. Come on. I can hear she's right behind me. Can I crouch? Yep. We got away. Oh, I can still hear her. Maybe we didn't get away <laughs> completely. Ah, ah, ah. Hi. Ah. Where are you? Oh, shit. This is intense, man. Let's burn her so we can... Come on. Oh, burn, bitch. Why can't we burn her? But this has to be fully reloaded, yeah? The lamp here. I think it is now, maybe. No? Burn, bitch! Why... Uh, this fully loaded, so why can't we burn her? I don't understand. Burn! She is creepy as F, man. Oh, got her. Okay. Now let's try and get rid of this smoke here. Come on, hurry up. Hurry the F up, I can hear her behind me, man. Uh... Run! We got away. Maybe. Jeez, she's creepy, man. Holy mother of Jesus. Uh-oh. Hello? This game is getting intense, man. If you like the video so far, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thank you in advance. Wang Ting Ting. That's the girl that died. She was... Her, her body was never found. I guess we just found it. That was a security guard. Richard Chen, junior at Wenhua University, studying finance. 1960, the Ren murder. In 1960, a murder occurred on Wenhua University's campus. And the victim was none other than the school founder's daughter. The perpetrator was the architect responsible for designing the Daren building. This incident came to be known as the 1960 Daren murder. And now a group of students from the film club is adapting this piece of school history into a horror movie. We know all this. Are we really gonna shoot this thing? This is serious. Okay, now we are shit. another character, you know? We are that Richie Chen guy. 
Yeah, <laughs> screw this stupid movie. Then we don't have to worry about these goddamn ghosts. Hey, oh. big shot director. What about your crazy, <laughs> super viral, dope-ass film? Now we're not even gonna shoot it? Oh. <sighs> Definitely not director material. Maybe you just do the marketing, Rich. Aww, but in America... Aww. <laughs> Look... <sighs> whatever. What you watching? I just... I mean... It's nothing. Oh, someone's a whittle scaredy cat. Why the hell would you agree to shoot a horror film? Yo, nah. You know how long I was in the States? We don't believe that shit like you guys. I'm worried about Doc. We're American. That's all. I mean, look how freaked out he got after seeing those ghost hands. I was like, fucking hell yeah. <laughs> what an awesome mustache, man. Dude, how He's cool rocking was that. It. So glad the gods told rocking me to join the mustache. you guys. Gods? What the hell are you talking about? He said he dreamed about joining the club or whatever. So... <sighs> Did the dream, like, tell you if we were gonna finish the film? Uh... <laughs> Let me ask my mustache. Who knows, tots? Well, dickhead, are we doing this or not? How long have we been working on this thing? Uh... <laughs> let's... Let's do it! Yeah. That viral trailer. With that interview. Cha-ching! Huh? huh? Interview? Interview? Did some part-time gig. Chill, chill. It was free. Got an interview out of it. That anchor from the news. The luscious Sulian. Oh. Nice, eh? <laughs> oh? <laughs> She's so hot, dude. <coughs> If we're gonna do this, we need to do it right. This thing needs to be perfect. Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've got about two weeks until the first screening. We've got to shoot, edit, and do post-production. Set the prep work done for shooting before 11, okay? Mr. Director, sir? Okay. That's me. I'm gonna make the diagram. Once I'm done, we'll start the meeting. Where's the positioning diagram? And the figurines? I think one's in the storage room. And the school newsletter took another for an interview. Got it, thanks. Okay, we gotta find those. Looks pretty damn good, right? <laughs> yeah, the mustache? Definitely. Yo, director. Go get that positioning diagram ready. Relax. Take a chill pill. Su Yu Yi figurine. Alright. Oh, did I take it? How do we know who's supposed to go where? We need two more figurines. Let me find out where to put them. Okay, she's... Looks like the figurine we have here should be by the pot. And by the pot, I mean, if you didn't see it, right where she was. Right there. Right at that. And that guy figurine should be by the rose. And the guy with the glasses with the gift. Yeah. But first we have to find them, you know. Let's go find the figurines. Where did she say there was? School newsletter was one of them, yeah. Should be right up here. Oh, we need figurines for this as well. All right.
Got and murder. Oh, you can read all this if you want. You can pause the video. Or did it just mean that they took these things? I don't know. Because I don't see any figurine in here. Maybe that was what they meant. There's nothing here, man. That's just me banging into the chairs. <laughs> Where do I have to find those figurines then? Something in the storage room, she said. But that was locked. Have to get in from here, wherever that is. How do we get in there? I don't know. I have no clue what to do. Why aren't you guys helping, you know? Just standing there and doing nothing. I'm the director, I'm the boss. I'm doing all the work. God damn it. Okay, I can't really get anywhere else. Other than the school newsletter and the film club. But that's also where our puzzle is, you know. Missions. <coughs> Can't get into these rooms. Where are my figurines? script awesome very very good script crucial intel update damn it I needed to read that I guess <laughs> I guess we still can right what are these amulets for I don't know. An amulet that Richard Chen gave to Yu Hai Li came as two color pair and is said to be the best choice for couples as it carries the unspoken feelings of parties involved. Okay, so he's in love with Yu Hai Li, whoever that is. So, we need to read this as this is crucial intel. Based on the script and desired atmosphere, a position and diagram has been created to facilitate the movement of characters and confirm each scene. Scene 1. First meeting with Su Yu Yi. Su Yu Yi comes to Port Ti. We have placed that figurine already. For her father, as she usually does. She is unaware that her father has planned for an unexpected encounter with a potential suitor that he has chosen for her. Yan Xu Wen is so shocked by Su Yu Yi's beauty that he doesn't notice Su Wen Xiong, enthusiastically offering him a gift. Yan Xu Wen is instantly convinced that she is the white rose of his dreams. <clears throat> Scene 2. Good wife. Su Yu Yi who lost her mother at a young age, was sent to a bridal academy in 1955 by her father, Su Wen Xiong. There she learned sewing, ikebana, whatever that is, cooking, and all other skills necessary to become a good wife and mother. She firmly believes that soon after her graduation, she will become an ideal bride, just as her father has planned. Scene 3. Beauty and the Beast 
Pan pampered from a young age, Su Yu Yi continues to live in a comfortable little bubble after graduation, hoping to meet the perfect husband. However, Yan Shu Wen soon crosses paths with the naive girl, using work to get close to Su Wen Xiong and plotting something behind the scenes. If that didn't really tell me anything, you know. <laughs> I think. Maybe it did. But where do we find all the figurines? Hey dude, where are the Can't figurines, wait man? Till you see the little surprise I've prepared. <laughs> oh figurine. Where art thou? I need to find you and put you in the right places. I don't know, dude. Cool newsletter, yeah. But I don't have the figurines. Where are they? I don't know. I have no clue. Nothing here, you know. I don't get it. And those are the only two rooms I can get into. I'm confused. Completely oblivious. Hello? Will you let me in, please? Hello, where are the figurines, people? When Doc was making the diagram, he was laughing like a maniac. Why? This is not helping any. Where are the damn figurines? Will you tell me, please? This is just telling me where the figurines have to go on here, but... Proposal for the Hexed Building. Right. 
this. Not helping anything. Do you guys get it? Because I sure as hell don't. Give me the other pieces, please. I think please. one's in the storage room. And the school newsletter took another for an interview. I know. I can't get into the storage room, first of all. Is this the storage room? It must be in here. Or does it, does it just mean this diagram thingy? Guess I must find a figurine in here. But where? Lying on the floor somewhere. The death road in the trash bin. No? Alright. There's no figurine in here. Hello? Maybe we do put that other figurine somewhere else? I don't know. That wouldn't make sense, you know? Now what good should that do? Ah, scene one, maybe she has to be somewhere else here for scene one, yeah? No, first scene she comes into poor T. Try and put her on this diagram. Okay. Film club room key. Okay. All right. I think this is for the storage room then. Okay. 
that did nothing. Why is this one like lighting up? Hard for pure different. This says a yin a yang thingy thingy there. Where are we going? Oh, yeah, another figurine. Awesome. Definitely gonna need that. Text detailing a bathroom related ghost story on campus. Popular book among blah blah blah. Yeah, you can all read that if you want. Ain't got time for that. Maybe I should, but you can tell me in the comments what is said, if it's important. Okay, we, now we have two figurines. Discard a proposal. I did that. That did nothing. He is supposed to go on the flower here. But I need him, the gift. Right? Guess we need the third figurine, you know? I know he's supposed to go here. And where's the third figurine? Hello? Do we put these two on here? Did I do that uh, already? <laughs> Aha! There we go. Me no dum dum. Me very smart. You know. Did it. So, first, camera will be here, facing the desk. Doc sits in the chair, and a high will be over there, pouring tea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm, to show mm -hmm. Yo-Yi's respect and admiration for her father. And then Wen Xiong is extremely satisfied with his daughter's manners and obedience. Yep. Okay, that's when I walk in. The first shot will be of my watch. Then the camera moves upward, giving us our first look at Shu Yu Yi's face. You got that. His perverted gaze masking itself in twisted sophistication. <laughs> I've got chills just thinking about it. Hold up. Does Yu Yi know what's going on at this point? Mm, no. Oh. Ah. Yo has been coddled to death. She's one of those chicks whose father sent to an all-girls school when she was little. And even if she realizes he's a psycho, she can't do anything about it. Her father is a psycho? <sighs> I haven't read the script. I think this stuff actually Thoroughly. happened. It's terrible. Poor huh? girl. Hey, hey. What are you looking for? Hmm? Hmm? 
I was just thinking, if Yan Shuen really is some wizard from hell, maybe Yu Yi's soul is still trapped in this very building, watching us. Ooh. <laughs> no way. Some people say they've seen her spirit roaming the building at night. Sick! Oh, uh, wait. I, I mean, I don't think we should film here. We should let her rest in peace. Agreed. Mm. Killing her wasn't enough. That pervert had to keep her in his twisted web. Mm hmm All right, look, is this scene settled or what? Yeah. We're introducing Wen Xiong and Yu Yi. Yep, that's basically it. And then... Yu Yi takes the teapot out. And Shu Wen makes up some excuse to fall. <laughs> Yu Yi? Huh? Uh. That's Yu Yi's ghost. What? You see or hear something? Idiots Only we heard it. Heard some weird noise from over there. Ugh. I'll go if you're too scared. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I am so not scared. <laughs> I'll I'm check so it out. So not scared. Let him go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. We made some progress. And we will end the video here. If you liked it, liked it, and you like my content, please leave a, leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below anything you like. I will read and reply to every every one of them. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.